Folks, this video is to show hunters the way to install and use the third hand stabilizer straps. It's also to show bow hunters where to install the third hand universal tree stand bow holder and how to climb slowly with their bow. First you install it on the top left side where the arm bar comes down and makes the joint. Attach it to the bottom right. Then you go to the other side. Just put the strap through the loop in the back. Go up to the top, put the short piece on the top right, once again on the down arm bar. Folks, this keeps the straps from being able to slide up and malfunction. Put the strap through itself, through the T-buckle, through the loop. And cinch it down. Now just connect the two pieces together. As you can see here, the top part's loose, the bottom's loose. But as soon as I cinch them down and stick my left foot up there, the top becomes solid. It's like one piece tan. Climb up over the top. Doing it this way, especially with a backpack, is a whole lot easier than trying to climb through two pieces and get up inside. Once you're in it and tethered in, loosen your straps up and start climbing. Now I'm going to take some small steps here. What I'm showing more than anything is that my tree stand bow holder has got my thousand dollar bow and each step I'm taking and tilting the stand left and right and the bow holder staying there. The idea is to go in nice and slow. Take one step, look left, look right, listen. Listen for 10 or 15 seconds and then take another step. When you get to the top of the tree you won't be all hot and sweaty. If a deer does come in, you've got your bow. Now, accidents do happen. Occasionally, while you're climbing, it can accidentally slip off your feet. What I'm going to do here is hold on with my left hand to keep my balance, reach down with the right hand, grab the stabilizer strap, pull it up, and hook my right foot. Then hold with my right hand to keep my balance, reach down with the left, and hook my other foot. That quickly, I'm back in the saddle. I'm going to take a couple more steps here. Cinch down. As soon as you cinch down, you stand solid. While I'm sitting, I'm cinched down. Take a little string, tie it to your quiver, put a loop on it. Now you can use the T-buckle as a place to hang your quiver. Sit back and relax. If I bump my bow, I'm not worried about it going anywhere. Tilt it back one inch and it comes out nice and quiet. You can also put it on the front if you'd like. Makes it hard to climb that way, but if you want your bow out in front of you for a little camo, that'll work. And for left-handers, I'm showing you, you can, it'll hold any bow, works on any stand. And to adjust it, you can push it all the way back to climb, but with one finger, you can push it forward and it stays wherever you put it. Once again, don't worry about bumping your bow and knocking it out of the stand. I like to sit back, relax, lay back, take a nap once in a while. But if I hear a deer, I grab the front of the stand and pull up. The stabilizer straps hold the top part down. This is something that doesn't happen with a ratchet strap. There's my deer. I'm ready to shoot. Very little movement and it's very quiet. Most archers will agree that two points of contact are less steady than three. Here I've got both feet, but also I'm leaning against the rail, which really steadies the shot and gives me a lot more range of motion on my climbing stand. That's why I prefer this style of stand over an open shot, or an open front stand. Here I'm showing you is crossbow hunters like the bow holder too. Now crossbows are heavier than regular bows, but most crossbow hunters just want to hold on to them for some reason. If you put it in a third hand universal tree stand bow holder, as you can see here, a limb is a limb is a limb. It'll hold it. Now it's held pointed straight down at the ground. If a deer comes in, all you got to do is tilt it back one inch and you're ready to shoot on any side you want to put it. Here's a tip for you. Put your corn right under your tree stand. That way the bow's already 
pointed down, all you got to do is pull the trigger. You get ready to go. If you'll take your strap or your seat and wrap the strap up over the railing and onto the cable, wrap the other one through the bottom over the strap and onto the cable, it keeps it pulled up against the tree. Climbing on back down. Once again, I got my bow with me. It's quieter. It's safer. If I do happen to hear a deer, all I do is sit down and cinch down. The stand is perfectly solid. I've got my bow. Three points of contact. Nice and steady on the deer. She's good to go. Loosen the straps up, let your lifeline down, and come on down the tree. It's hard to imagine how something so simple can make your stand so solid. When I get to the bottom, the last thing I do before dismounting, I cinch the straps down. To me, it's much easier to go up over a nice solid rail, and if I did catch my heel, it keeps me from falling out of the stand. Even if I'm up five or six feet, I can let myself down nice and slow now. That way I don't have to jump down onto these old knees. Packing them together, it's a dream. Even with three bow holders, I just slide the two stands together. The bottom is smaller than the top. You slide them together, but that puts metal against metal. So if you wrap the stabilizer strap around it on both sides and pull it snug, it makes it a whole lot quieter. After you wrap them around, take your seat and your backpack. Now do the Kentucky crisscross straight over top of them. Put the stabilizer strap back through the T-buckle. Pull down against your backpack. Same thing on the other side. Through the T-buckle. My friends, you got your tree stand together nice and solid, carrying it and your backpack. The tree stand bow holder and the stabilizer straps. A great investment. Makes you stay on stand longer, makes you stay on stand quieter and safer. The longer you stay on stand, the better chance you're going to have of getting one like one of these boys. And that's what it's all about. Thanks for buying American and have a great day.